Genital Jousting is a game about genitals jousting. Look, as a disclaimer, if goofy cocks make you soft, then make sure you just turn this off. You play as John, who is looking for a date for his high school reunion. On his way to that goal, he goes through different situations, and you get to witness it all. It's meant to be a comedic game, though the humor comes less from the story itself and more from the absurd setting and the context behind it. On the surface, this game looks like another Surgeon Simulator or I Am Bread type of frustrating physics romp, but luckily it isn't. It's easy to control your dick, and you can also switch up which way you move by letting your head instead be your... Uh, taint? You basically just control a snake with two balls and that's about it. The visuals are cartoony and colorful, which are a must for such a light-hearted game. The environments are well detailed and most things interact with you. Things either have physics to them, or they at least react to you. You can use your shaft to move items around, and you can use your farts to give yourself a slight boost. The story mode is almost exactly that, a story mode. You hear narration, and there's no real challenge to the game, instead it's just an interactive spectacle. John woke to the shrill cry of his alarm clock and lay there, rigid, his usual morning condition. But there was another reason John couldn't get out of bed. It was the weight. A weight that had nothing to do with his muscles or fat or sweaty blankets. John was weighed down by a piece of paper. The invitation to his high school reunion. From across the years, the words he'd heard in the schoolyard were still clear. You're a loser. No one will ever love you. Personally, I really enjoyed that aspect and was happy that I didn't have to make precision movements or pick up small items with fiddly controls. The story itself is endearing and entertaining. It made me care about the game enough to see myself through the entire ordeal in a single setting. It took me a bit less than 90 minutes to finish the whole thing, and I think it was the perfect length. It didn't outstay its welcome and actually made me want for a little bit more, though I don't know if the story could have handled a few more scenes. The online modes are entertaining enough, as long as you have someone to have fun with. Playing with random users will however grow old very quickly, and public matchmaking only serves to kill the entire vibe of the game. The sound design's seriously well done. The flapping and squishing make for a cutesy, yet also a gross experience. Sadly, during the campaign I had two glitches, both to do with the world boundaries and me falling out of them for some reason. In both cases, restarting from the checkpoint fixed the issue. To me, the game was amusing. No real laugh-out-loud moments, but those are rare for me to begin with. It's less the story itself that got me, and more the absurdity around it. Shoving a beer can up my ass and then pelting it out after chugging it will always be a fun sight. Or when you flap your dick hard enough to unleash a fire extinguisher, which in a few rare times might actually fly up your butt and launch you around like the North Korean space program. I had fun with genital jousting, and if you're down for a quick romp in Bizarro World, then perhaps you want to give genital jousting a solid thrust. Thanks for watching. John, that's too much pleasure for one anus to handle.